everyone, Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to be changing the oil in this uh, 2011 Chevy Traverse. It's not a how-to, guys. It's just I thought I'd bring along, bring you along with me, and just chit chat while I'm doing it. Um, you know, you drain the oil, put the plug back in, <coughs> you put new oil in. Same with filter. Take the filter off, put a new filter on. It's real simple. I mean, they're all pretty much the same, but see, it says change engine oil soon, and I'll show you how to reset that once we're done. That can be somewhat of a how-to. So it's just letting warm up. It's not all the way warmed up yet, but it is warm enough. I like to have it warm so more of that old oil gets out. So let's go ahead. Let's get started on this. Okay guys, here's the engine. It's still dirty from when we went through that big giant mud hole. But it is a 3.6 liter VVT direct injection that VVT is variable valve timing so uh, it's it is a 288 horsepower engine v6 so this is where we'll be putting oil in right here and right down here is the dipstick there it is right down there so this thing doesn't use any oil um, but it is due for a change so we're going to go ahead and change it i got my stuff here i know guys these filters are bad they suck but our lovely auto bone here in town this is the only one they had that would fit this vehicle they had all kinds of filters but to fit this vehicle this was the only one i could get i know they suck they're terrible filters but you got to do what you got to do it needs an oil change we're going to change it we're using this Castro GTX high mileage and I always run 10W40. We're down here in Florida and it gets hot. Engines run hotter down here. It says a synthetic blend synthetic blend. I could also that's all they sell at our auto bone is synthetic. That's it. No regular oil. Um, this takes uh, five and a half quarts with the filter. That's a five that's a five quart. Uh, jug there. I do have another quart to top it off So let's go ahead and get this thing jacked up and you know I got a story about that idiot from that stuff we bought yesterday from auto boners so anyway guys um, Let me get it jacked up and get a stand under it. Okay guys, so down under here <clears throat> Somewhat It's gonna be a tight one. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna have to get. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get a breaker bar. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put a wrench on here like this. <clears throat> there we go. Get this under here. I need to grab my rag. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. So, I got it jacked up only on the driver's side because this side is the side where the oil is going to drain out so I wanted it rolling this way more just to get some more out of it so alright here we go I'm not sure when it was changed I got the service records that will tell me but there we go yeah it's black it was ready it was ready. Uh, the uh, 
I got to do the uh, oil filter from up top, which kind of sucks because then all the oil runs down the side of the engine, across the frame, and all that. And then you got to go look for where the uh, I think the seal looks pretty good. It wasn't leaking or anything. I'm going to reuse it. That little seal right there. Um, but like I said it just runs everywhere and if you get a drip and you see a drip now you're all excited about is my car leaking oil and whatnot this does have a chattering coming from the rear end <laughs> it's whoops it's kind of like if it kind of sounds and feels like a bad axle but the axle seem to be okay so hopefully it's not the rear diff um, so what I'll probably end up doing, I may take the rear drive shaft out and see if it still does it. And if it doesn't do it, then it's probably the differential. Um, and because when it's doing it, we're taking out and, you know, taking off like usually on a turn and it's kind of chattering. Now, if it does it, without power to it then it could be an axle or in an axle bearing or you know maybe a spline is uh, axle spline might be stripping but if it still does it well I mean but then if it don't do it then I'll know it's actually in the differential but that's another day so I'm gonna let this drain for a minute and I'm gonna bring my pan up here and I'll show you where that oil filter is I'll have to get a get my little steps over there yeah this was due it's pretty thick pretty dark colored so uh, and then I'll I'll get the oil filter up this one you cannot fill the oil filter I like to film when when the oil filter goes straight up underneath you can fill them up so it's, you're not starting a dry engine this one goes into the side like this so if I fill it up with oil of course it's going to run out by the time I get it on there so yeah it's looking pretty good so I'm going to let it drain a couple more minutes and we'll get the pan over here and I'll try to show you where that filter is I think I can be able I won't be able to show you me taking it off um, but it just unscrews and screws on it's not a big deal just make sure you of course Sounds like we got a motorcycle coming or something. Uh, hopefully it went the other way. But I always um, put a little bit of oil on that rubber seal, you know, on that rubber gasket on your filter. The reason why you do that, everybody says it, it, it's to make it seal. No, that couldn't be farther from the truth. That's not what that's for. Okay, if you got, if you got to put something on that on that gasket because it's leaking you got other issues what that's for is because you know you wipe all the old oil off that's so you're not putting that up against the block and you go to tighten it it can rip that gasket so the oil just makes the gasket slide so you don't rip it putting it on because I have seen it I've had people bring stuff to my shop and said they you know just did an oil change and it was leaking around the filter and they tried to tighten it and it wouldn't you know it wouldn't stop leaking and I'd take it off, sure enough, it was ripped. And I explained to him about that. So, uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to let this drain a minute. And then I'm going to put the plug back in. I got my plug sitting here on my rag because the ground's dirty. I never lay the plug on the rag or on the, on the ground. Always wipe it off, make sure it's nice and clean. But anyway, when we get up on top, I'll, I'll tell you about that jack leg. There it is, it fell on the ground. <laughs> great all right make sure you clean this off real good because you don't want any kind of especially if you're in sandy areas um so i'll tell you about that jack leg at auto boner so stick around guys okay guys that right down there that is a filter sticking out there see it and as you can see down there a little bit of yellow that's a drain pan so of course all that's going to run down across that frame and down along the engine block and all that 
So, anyway. Ooh, it's hot out here. Alright. Let me go get my step. And the, uh, my oil filter wrench. We'll get that off there and get that changed. Okay, guys. So, I gotta try to use this thing. I know where my regular oil filter wrench is for this size, but I can't get to it right now. My garage is a total mess. I gotta get it cleaned out. There's a lot of heavy stuff that has to be moved. Come on. There's monkey. So anyway, it's jack leg down there at Auto Boners. I grab my oil and filter and take it up there, set it on the counter. Is that all? He starts ringing up. I see you got any gloves on sale? He looked right at me. Looked down under the counter. Just looked up and looked away. And I said, Jesus, you know, I said something. And Monkey's like, he asked you a question. And he goes, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't hear him. What's he want? You know, like he's doing me a favor or something. What's he want? She said, he asked if you had any gloves on fit, on sale. She said, Ga he said, gas? We don't sell gas here. I said, you know what? I said, fuck this. I said, if he's too good to talk to me, I don't want to talk to him. And he, you know what he did? He shrugged his shoulder. He stepped back from the counter, of course, because I was right there. He stepped back and went, whatever. Well, let me tell you something, dickhead. Auto boners don't pay your bills. Customers pay your bills. So anyway, that's that. So I'm gonna try to get this down here. What this does, guys, is it slides over. Well, if, if you got it set right. This slides over like that and then when you go to turn it it puts pressure on it and it'll take it off so i'm going to try to get this done and i'll be back with you in a minute we'll fill it up with oil and we'll reset the uh oil uh reminder on it that's nice out yeah, it's beautiful okay now we're going to fill this up with five quarts it's going to take five and a half i got another another quart in there to top it off so, we got this big giant funnel here because that kind of goes, you know, way down in there. So, here we go. Um, also, what a lot of guys will suggest you do on them filters, which I suggest too, but. There wasn't no point in doing it on this because you can't see it anyway is put your date on there if you can't see it don't worry about it and also like i said once i set this this will remind me when it's when it's about due for an oil change so but yeah i try to write on the filter a lot of guys will put them stickers in the windshield but you know down here the heat that they just peel off and fall off so But, and like I said, you can't see this one, so it uh, doesn't really make sense to write the date on there. All right, I'm going to put another half a quart in here, and we'll go in and we'll reset the oil thing. At least that much I can show you. Okay, guys, so I had to take a break for a minute because we seen a girl come out of here with a bicycle. She said, oh, she was just cutting through. She was lost. She went up that way. I'll show it on the ring. I'm sure the ring picked it up. So I walked over here to this tree house. Lo and behold, this dude right here was up inside there. So as you can see, we're running him off. <laughs> so that's a lot of stuff because she had a whole bunch of stuff. He's got a whole bunch of stuff. And he said, there's still more stuff up in there. And I said, well, you know what? Bring a sheriff and you're welcome to get it. All right, let's reset this oil trip thingy i had to get the book out to reset this 
So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the key on. It's going to be bombing. We're not going to start it. And down here, one of these buttons is where we're going to reset it at. So, let me see. I think this is it. Let's see. Might not be it. All right, let's, um, there's the tire pressures. Five percent oil life remaining. Okay, so it's that button there. Third one over, and it says, "Press and hold the trip or don't." No, check that. Okay, remaining will press and hold the set reset button until 100% is displayed. So that should be. Um, nope. <laughs> Here we go. Now, nope. Got a. Okay. I gotta find a, which one of these is the reset button. I don't think it's this one. Nope. That's for fuel. Okay, let me let me find a reset button here. This one changes it. So let me see. As soon as I find it, I'll I'll tell you. So I was right. You just press and hold that check mark right there, and it changed it to a hundred percent. So let's start it up. I've already started up and checked it, but let's start it up now. Make sure it stays off. 100%. All right, cool. So that's pretty much it. All right, guys, so I'll throw some clips of some of the stuff that was going on over there. It's crazy, man. People just, that bitch just went fucking nuts and she tripped and she, she's mad at that dude. There's her bag over there. There's her bag, she just left it. She kicked it because she was on her bike. And then she was pushing her bike down through here and she tripped right there, almost fell. So I laughed and she got smart ass with me. Thank you for laughing. I said, well, thank you for lying to me, you know? And uh, stuff all over my screen now, or all over my lens. <laughs> and I said, is it all right for you to be trespassing? I wasn't in your house and blah, blah, blah. And she started getting cocky with me down here. So I walked down to her, and as soon as I got up close to her, she's like, no, you're right, I'm sorry, you're right, you're right. Because she was like, well, I ain't got nowhere to go. That's not my problem, you know? Like Monkey told that guy, which he, he gave his full name and everything. And But Monkey told him, you know, there's, there's places you can go camp for free around here, all over here. They're on bicycles. Probably maybe a 15-minute ride on a bicycle. They can camp for free. There's no reason to go and get inside somebody's place. You know, we thought it was, we heard something over there and we just thought it was kids. And I was like, I ain't gonna bother them, you know. Kids are gonna explore, it's no big deal. But then she came out of the woods there, or out through Jerry's yard and said she was cutting through from the other street and she was lost. So she's just a flat out liar. And he said he was just gonna, he said he was just helping her get her stuff out of there because she, she told him where she was at, and he said, you, you can't be doing that, you know? So I don't know if that part's true or not, but, you know, the thing about it is that, you know, you don't need people getting in your stuff like that because, you know, you can tell she's strung out. She ain't got no teeth and stuff. She just, uh, you know, crazy. Crazy, huh, Monk? Crazy, huh, Monk? What? I said crazy, huh? I got your world life. scary. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, it was, down, it was down to five, so. Wow. All right, so yeah, it's crazy, huh? 
Yeah, that's nuts. <laughs> These people need to go somewhere else. Monkey jumped that dude's shit. I kind of feel bad for her now because she's all over him about, you know, not helping and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, he can go to jail for her if that's what he's doing. Yeah. If he was just helping her. Yeah. So... But they I need, to, need to go where there's real shelters if they need help. There's shelters, and like you said, there's so many places around here they can camp. For free. For free. They're the, the, the one we go down by the river. They had That's a tent. Free. Yeah. yeah, they had a tent. That's free. Yeah. They can um, walk in there, and they could plant it anywhere in there. Yeah. Yeah, there's no places they can go. No one's going to say anything to them. No. As long as they don't stay there for a year or something, they might need to move around a little yeah. bit. Yeah, so it's, it, you know, I mean, there's places around here that, fortunately, that they can go, but they choose not to, so. No. You know, I mean, there are shelters around here and stuff, yeah, so there's there's, there's no excuse just to go, stuff here. well, there's there's nothing here, there's nobody in here, let's just get up in here and stay as long as we want. Right. Now, it don't happen that way, you know, I mean, I hate to see anybody homeless, but it seems like to me she's homeless because of drugs or whatever yeah she looked like she was a little strung out she she made made her own decisions so i don't feel sorry for someone like that no if someone lost their job due to the rona or something like that yeah i'll do all i can to help them but somebody like that no you know yeah and they take it upon themselves that well i'll just walk in there nobody will know i'm here yeah i mean you know if an honest goodness person was down on their luck and said look i don't have a place to stay i need a place to pitch a tent we would tell them, look, take a couple of days, put you right out in the backyard, you know? Yeah, but they're not that kind. Of no, they're not that. But I said, yeah. if they were honest, goodness people, pitch it in the backyard. Yeah. You know, we'll give you electric. There's water back there. But somebody like that just takes it upon themselves to go, you know, Nobody's do, here. do what they want to do. I mean, you know, that's crazy. Yeah, so. I think she's coming back. So, yeah. So if she comes. <laughs> All right, so if she comes back, I'll add some more in, and I think oh I got my. some doorbell, doorbell footage there that oh, I can show you. Never a dull moment. <laughs> Interesting life we have. Yeah, it's crazy, guys. My thing is, like I said to him, we, when we put the ring up, it was like, oh my God, look at all this stuff that's happening. It's unbelievable here. the stuff we're catching. Imagine all the stuff we didn't catch. Yeah. 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 Unbelievable. Being woke up at six o'clock this morning by ring yeah still it dark will, out we'll it wasn't a person now. you guys no. will see that all right we're guys put one in the backyard now yeah we're going to put one in the backyard too because yeah you know you I'll never know the whole house <coughs> yeah yep all right monk the world's changed let's just see up for now bye y'all <laughs> Bye, guys. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.
So she thought maybe they were kids, you know, they didn't want enough playing, no fun, you know, it's okay. And then, and then all of a sudden, this girl comes around on a bicycle, and she goes this way, and then she decides to turn around and go back the other way. She goes, wait a minute. Okay, guys. fucking drug pass where you don't belong. And you're mad at me? You're mad at me because you're breaking the fucking law? I don't give a fuck. Does that mean you can come in my house if you want? Is that what that means? Was that in your house? That's our property. That's our fucking property. Fucking badass if somebody walks up on them, then they gotta be a little fucking bitch. I'm playing a fucking shit. Wasn't in your house? Was you in that building? I wasn't in the house. Was you in that building? What, the tree house? Your property oh yeah, well you're right, you're right, you're right. Cause so you can just go into anybody's building. Yeah. Doesn't even know. Yeah. No, you're right. 